All right, guys, so let's take a look at it. Basically, this all just fits right in my little camera bag here, which is fantastic. I broke it down, right? And like here, this the feet of the actual monopod. I mean, they're solid, just the construction. Everything I have for my footage is solid premium construction. I have their Shark Nano slider, fantastically solid. You know, I have their uh, tripods, solid as a rock. And it's no different with this here. Uh, this thing has, the feet have three different levels, right? So there's like, you know, level one, there's like level two, right? There's like level three, right? We got three different levels. Now, one thing that was like, at first, I didn't really think I was gonna kind of need this. And I'm absolutely surprised how clutch this came in. This <laughs> clutch, this little clutch brake, this pedal, while you're filming, like literally I press it down with my foot and this allows me to move this head. So I'm able to do like these little kind of dolly in or dolly back or kind of little fake slide shots using this. And then when I'm done, step on it again, boom, it locks it back. Fantastic. There were so many times where I just boop and I'm like, okay, bah, and then I just did the movement. Boom, finish, all right, boom, lock it back. This next thing here, this system right here is absolutely fantastic. Here, if I grab the monopod and slab it in, Boom, let me lock these legs back. Just drops in and out, quick and easy, no nonsense. It's solid as a rock, again, boom. Now I got like, I think it's 30 degrees. I don't know exactly, I'll put the it in text down below of how much room I can actually get to tilt with that. Oh, you don't wanna tilt anymore? Step on that, boom, lock it back into place, fantastic. Now I'm using the Cobra 3, there is a Cobra 2, and the difference mainly between them, let me just go grab that other one. Now the difference here also between the Cobra 2 and the Cobra 3, we still have the locking system here on the bottom, but the legs here are a little bit different. I would say these, these are actually they're the same size. This one here, we have the screw here. It's a screw. There is no clutch system on this one here. So that is kind of one of the main differences between the two. You can see clearly here, we have the clutch and this other one has the screw here. We both have the locking here. You can see this locking system is a little bit more beefier than the other one here, than this one here. So this is kind of like the more heavy duty version. The Cobra 3 is a more heavy duty version. And the, the Cobra 2 is lighter. It is definitely lighter, I noticed that too. So on the Cobra 3, we have these release, the quick release here. And on the Cobra 2, we got the screw, the screw system here, right? Both are also the same. So we can actually connect these together and make one big long monopod type deal like this. See if this looks here, let me get that in for you. Oh, now it's like one gigantic big monopod, right? Which is actually pretty cool. That's pretty much the difference there. Plus on the Cobra 3, you get this like little tripod screw plate to help uh, lock in your plates, which actually came in handy. Got that here. Then up on the top, they're both pretty much the same here up on top. To me, uh, this one is not carbon fiber. The Cobra 2 is not carbon fiber. The Cobra 3 is carbon fiber, but the beefier hardware on it makes it feel heavier than this one here on the Cobra 2. So that's that. In combination here with this, this here, fantastic. They work very good as a system. When you plug this in, boom, it locks in. Now, the, again, these plates, these heads don't come with it. The heads are optional, right? But what does come with it is this right here. You'll get this little plate and it's got a little screw on there. You can pull that off there, right? Boom, pops that out of there. Again, just quickly drop that in. Bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to go. Now, one reason why I say it's good to save up and get both, I got this feet here, check it out. If I take this head, screw this on the bottom, drop this in, now I've got the head on top of here. Let me back this shot up. So with the tripod head on here, now it's like a little mini tripod with some feet here, which is absolutely fantastic here. And it works out like almost kind of like a little table tripod, but like super solid, right? Super solid. Then we go ahead and just boom, drop this guy in here. Boop, boom, loosen those guys up. Now I've got this little mini tripod here. It is a fluid head, I got resistance. Look at that. And I can set my resistance, a little screw here on this side can set my resistance there. So fantastic. And it's got a little plate here, slide that off, you know, or actually it's got the lock on there too. So it doesn't slip off, right? Fantastic. And there you go.
like a little mini tripod here. So I had this on top here and I was getting all my shots like this, just using this and like, you know, coming forward and tilting down and pat. it was absolutely fantastic. So my overall impression, this thing is fantastic. If you guys are in the market for a monopod, I would definitely take a look at some of the iFootage stuff because this thing is solid as a rock. You got your two levels, you know, you got your more heavy duty premium version and then you got, you know, your more entry level, not even entry level. This thing is still fantastic. Like there are my bike times where I might just want to use this one just because it's a little bit lighter and easier to pack if I don't need a, you know, a bigger camera. I'm using my cell phone or something like that. And then the optional tripod head on here, like, come on, that's just super clutch, right? Literally in Japan where I go, most of the temples and things, you cannot have a tripod, like no tripods are allowed. So this monopod is just, it just comes in clutch. Absolutely fantastic. Take a look, links down in the description. Take a look at all that stuff down there. iFootage monopods.